Remember how they beat the odds to break out of the pack. And ahead, there's a new pack of actors hot on the heels of fame. We're going to introduce them and tell you why television is going to the dogs. Listen to the heartbeat. I'm not easily impressed. Of America. I figure the new Beretta can't possibly drive as good as it looks. Well, it proved me wrong. Beretta's two sport suspension really handled the curves. It felt taut, yet smooth, and definitely sophisticated. Professionally, it's outstanding. Personally, I'm hooked. The heartbeat of America. Beretta. Just the same Chevrolet. All it takes is for someone to say pizza, right? <laughs> and then they all gotta have pizza. Until they give me a craving, too. We always get Totino's. But all of a sudden, they've added a lot more to it. Lots more toppings. And uh, the meats are bigger. And there's more of them, too. <laughs> I was really surprised. And Totino's crust is still crisp. Or something else I like. There's only one place they can get it. <laughs> Totino's new tempting toppings. Pizza worth coming home to. Hormel Chili would like to take a good look at our competition. There's Sonia Steiner of Dry Gulch, Texas. Cliff Benson of Studebaker, California. And Lucy Zipkin of Ripasa Pass, Wyoming. You see, at Hormel, we outsell all other chili companies, and now our real competition is you, the good chili cooks of America. So we salute our competition. But one word of caution, we're gaining on you. Hormel Chili, the next best thing to homemade. Next on Marblehead Manor, Albert the butler slips up at work. Mr. Stonehill's gonna fire you. <gasps> and it looks like his days are numbered. My father was butler here. The Dudleys have always been butlers here. Well, maybe they're getting sick of you guys. It's a crazy kind of place where even the help needs help. What are you hanging around for? You're standing on my hand. The staff is in it for laughs at Marblehead Manor. Come home when prime time starts at 7.30 tonight. For every leading man, there are thousands of actors eagerly waiting for their first break. But even the superstars did have to start somewhere, usually at the bottom. Today we begin a look at those first roles, and we'll get the honest reaction of stars brought face to face with their pasts. Years before Michael Douglas became a major motion picture star, before he made Jack Colton the fantasy of housewives everywhere, and before he became a fatal box office attraction, even this star had to start somewhere. Hey, you hero. Hey, you hero. Child of your fate. Kirk Douglas' son was luckier than most. He starred in his very first movie, Hail Hero, in 1969, as a hippie who rebels against his wealthy conservative family. How about it, Grandpa? Huh? You think I'm a nut? <laughs> I'll never forget the first day of my first movie, and I got in there in the hair and makeup, and they put on my, my hippie wig. And I looked in the mirror, and I said, Veronica Lake. <laughs> I looked like Veronica Lake. You know, I sort of curled over and a little page boy and it came across and I died. <clears throat> I died. It was the most painful uh, experience I ever had. And although there were some things I liked about Hail Hero, it, it was pretty much downhill from there. Don't they have barbers in the east? Ow, ow! Why not come and scissors? Oh, why is everybody so damn concerned about my hair? A mixed-up Douglas has dropped out of college and actually decided at the height of the anti-war movement to enlist. Heck. What would happen if every soldier on both sides would just try to love instead of hate? You can't even make your own brother love you. You expect to succeed with a stranger who can't even talk English? Hail Hero may not have won any Oscars, but even a movie star's son has to start somewhere. I was terrified. Uh, I was in every single scene. And it's a tremendous responsibility. And if you think about it too much, you think, man, I'm on screen for two hours. I mean, nobody's that interesting. You get, people get tired of looking at somebody, but then you didn't know that. <clears throat> but my main memories of that was terror. Michael Douglas obviously felt the responsibility of a leading role at an early age was all a bit much, but many actors spend years just trying to get close to leading roles. Douglas's start may have been shaky, but some other Hollywood stars broke out of the pack in decidedly smaller parts. Treat Williams sang his heart out in the big screen version of Hair. 
had an arresting part in Prince of the City and played the tour de force role of Stanley Kowalski in the TV version of A Streetcar Named Desire. Treat's first appearance on screen was a minuscule role in a hard-hitting police drama, Deadly Hero, in 1976. As star Don Murray's patrol partner, his part may not seem like much, but to a hopeful young actor, it was a breakout role. Hey, well, look here, Cleo, man. We got us a regular Roy Rogers. <laughs> I was shooting in my own neighborhood, and I was crossing the street, fully decked out as a cop, with gun and everything. And one of my friends came across the street and said, what happened? What are you doing? I said, get out of the business. Work was terrible. I'm a cop now. When you're on the sidelines during most of the storyline of your first film, it can be tough. But watching yourself years later can be even tougher. And Deborah Old Group came back today. She changed her statement. Williams is remarkably philosophical about it all. My response to watching my work is always like a craftsman. It's uh, like making shoes. You know, you got to stand back and look at it, and, and then you go back working it. I never had a big problem with that. Some, some people do. I never found it particularly, you know, sometimes you say, well, we should stand up straighter. Or, uh, you know, that's, that's a good shot. I can see both my chins, you know. But aside from that, you, none, of, none, of, none of that matters too much to me. Tomorrow, we'll find out about the special relationship Nick Nolte had with an ostrich in one of his first films. Leonard Malton, our resident film expert, makes his debut this week as celebrity guest on the $25,000 Pyramid. True to form, his first appearance was a triumph. $25,000 Pyramid. Today's special guests are Abby Dalton and from Entertainment Tonight, Leonard Malton. All this week, our Leonard Malton, a big fan of the show, gets a chance to have his performance as a guest panelist critiqued. Is there people whose last names begin with the letter M? -M? He played in Meatballs. Uh, Bill Murray. Uh, you got it. Uh, Okay, this is um, a, a piece of uh, this, these uh, little wires. Uh -huh. Yeah, wow. But the true test of Leonard's skill came when he and contestant Shannon Mingus played for big stakes. Modern sculpture. Things um, are abstract? Uh, Things made of marble? Telephone connection. Things made of wire? Yeah! <laughs> Leonard is off in the Caribbean. You can catch Leonard at work on the $25,000 pyramid all this week. What was Sally Field doing tied up naked with Michael Caine? Tomorrow we'll find out that there's more to this than meets the eye. Sally's husband is the one who told them to do it. On Wednesday, Richard Dreyfus and friends celebrate the Constitution's 200th birthday. We'll find out that the founding fathers had a sense of humor. The Near East story began about 30 years ago at Hannah Kalajian's diner. Now the taste of her traditional rice pilaf recipe is catching on all over America. Which is why we've made our first TV commercial. Because people always ask, where does something like this come from? What do I worry about? Well, I worry about the price of everything. That's a new house record. About the fact my oldest is going to be a teenager next year. I worry about my doubles partner. About my son's choice of musical instruments. I worry about finding some time for myself. What I don't worry about is our health care. We've joined Cigna Health Plan. The kid's pediatrician is out of this world. I don't intend to grow old gracefully. I intend to fight it every step of the way. I'm going to be 40 and wonderful. Wonderful with oil of Olay. It fills in for fluid you lose with time, adding fullness where your skin starts to show age, like my first laugh lines, which weren't so funny. Oil of Olay penetrates quickly, plumps them up. Your skin looks softer, younger. I'm not budging. 40 is prime time. Mervyn's brand of top quality sweat clothes. 
Some like the heavy-duty construction, some like the bright colors, and some like the comfortable fit. Actually, everyone likes Mervyn's sweats, and they're on sale right now. I got everything I need for a song. Thank you, Mervyn's. Travel arrangements provided by Delta Airlines. Every day, Delta and the Delta Connection fly to more than 230 cities worldwide. At Delta, we love to fly, and it shows. In the past few years, the Judds have taken country music by storm. Their past albums each have sold over a million copies. They've had nine number one country singles and have won three Grammy Awards. Not bad for two ladies who recorded their first song in 1983. Mama, he's crazy, crazy over me. Mama, he's crazy began the string of number one hits for the Judds, putting them at country music's forefront and forever changing their lives. People were just excited because they realized that we did come from nowhere. You know, people on Music Row got excited because here are these two people that literally were working nine to five. We're literally, basically, from normal lives. We bucked the system. Yeah. Bucking the system means spending most of their time on the road, which can definitely put a strain on a mother-daughter relationship. One day we were in a humongous fight. I mean, the bus was shaking like this going down the highway. We were out of Phoenix, Arizona, and our bodyguard, our, our, our bus out driver, the was wearing a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> and he had a cattle prod. We just been in Texas. He was going back here. And uh, I remember one owner said, one owner said, uh, "Oh, I didn't ask to be born." I said, "Honey." If you would have asked the way I feel, the answer would have been no. <laughs> Grandpa, the Judds. Even though the Judds have picked up quite a few honors, they are looking forward to next week's Country Music Association Awards. They're nominated for the big one, Entertainer of the Year. I'm not going to name names, you know, but uh, when we see some of the other artists, they'll say, it means nothing, you know, it's dribble, it's just a popularity contest, it's just a media event and all, and we're going, oh, excuse me, but it's a big, fat, hairy deal to us. We're two very emotional people. I think people out there realize that. Um, <laughs> especially her. She's like the Sarah Bernhard of country music, that's what I'd say. But there are, there are two people here who literally have had an opportunity to live out an American dream in front of a lot of people. I don't want no other love. Baby, it's just you I'm thinking of. The Judds will perform at the fifth anniversary celebration for the Vietnam Veterans Memorial to be held in Washington on November the 10th. There's an old saying that goes, every dog has his day. And as Bob Sarlat found out, the dog days are now. And some of TV's biggest stars are members of the canine corps. All right, Reuben, is that everything, Alaris? <laughs> it began last season on Fox television show stop. Duet. Sure, the show has stars, Matthew Lawrence and Mary Page Keller. But the guy really carrying the load on Duet is this guy, Bo, as Reuben. A huge talent and a good friend to have. I, I'm a little late. I have to do a story in here. Can I just kind of go you in? You'll need a pass, sir. Uh, maybe you've seen some of my funny stories on Entertainment Tonight. I'm Bob Sarlat. Can't say that I know you, sir. Uh, listen, I'm, I'm with Bo, the dog from Duet. He's with me. Uh, we're, we're... Oh, you're with Bo? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, right. Thanks so much. Sure. Bo, wait up. Listen, hey, is it okay if I use your parking space? Just for today, that's all. Just today. Plenty of the big stars in Hollywood are using personal trainers to stay fit. And Bo's got his. Roger Schumacher. Yep, Bo's got this whole town pretty much eating out of his dish. <laughs> Bo, things have gone well for you on duet. How long have you been on the show now? <laughs> One year, all right. And uh, level with me. How are they treating you, huh? <laughs> a little rough. Every show's got a dog. Yeah. Every show. Last year... We were the first, and Bo is the best. Be, come here. John Ritter's co-starring on his new show, Hooperman, with this guy, Bijou. And there are dogs everywhere you look on the TV schedule. 30-something has Grendel, okay. married with children has Buck, and Buck's got it made. He's got the life. A new bitch every night. Doesn't have to take him to dinner, doesn't have to dress up. 
He doesn't have to take a bath. And best of all, they're not there in the morning. <laughs> Just woof, woof, thank you, ma'am. There are two Maxes, one on A Year in the Life and the other on Jake and the Fat Man. This Max is actually Sebastian. He was hired for William Conrad's show because of a family resemblance. Mr. Conrad looks better, but I mean, you know, he's, they have similar characteristics. He's as handsome as I am. Look at that face. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in your life? Ah, yeah, so you want a hit show? No problem. Just get yourself a star with four feet. I enjoy your work. I have kept you here a long time. Go get yourself a steam in a shower. Nice talking with you. <laughs> All right, nice talking with you. All right, congratulations. Somebody who will finally answer his questions. <laughs> okay, Max looks like he kissed a truck, doesn't he? <laughs> a Mack truck? We'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, I know. It's fruit and... Oh, it's new, and it has all these luscious peaches. Sing it again. New peaches and fruit and... With all these peaches, it's easy to forget. You're going to love it just for the taste. Sweet, sun-ripened peaches, fat raisins, crunchy almonds, and high-fiber flakes. Introducing a peachy new post-fruit and fiber cereal. I knew that. Tastes so good, you forget the fiber. You're going to love it just for the taste. It's Universal Studios cartoon superstars, over 100 stars live, like me, oh, posing for pictures. Easy, that big guy. <laughs> Signing autographs. Yabba dabba do. Who Wilma? <laughs> Saying hello to adoring fans. Hello, adoring fans. And they keep on coming over 100 cartoon stars live all day. Every weekend in October, only at Universal Studios, where cartoon fantasies come to life. <laughs> Introducing Yoo-Hoo Chocolate Drink Kid Packs. They can take them to school. Yeah. Take them to the game. Yeah. Take them to a story. Yeah. Take them to Grandma's. Yoo-Hoo yeah. yeah. yeah Kid Packs are delicious and nutritious with vitamins A, B2, C, D, niacin, calcium, phosphorus, and potassium. Take them to camp. Yeah. Take them to the park. Yeah. Take them anywhere. Yoo-Hoo yeah. yeah. yeah Chocolate Drink Kid Packs, another delicious product from Yoo-Hoo. I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is you still get the great savings of Vaughn's Unlimited Double Coupons. You'll still find fresh, top-quality produce. And we're still selling baby products at cost to help young families. The bad news, well, that's for the other supermarkets. Because now Vaughn's has lowered thousands of prices. Good for you, good for us, bad for them. Celebrating a birthday today, actress Karen Allen is 36, singer Steve Miller, 44, comedian Bill Dana, 63, actress Glynis John, 64, actor Donald Pleasance, 68, and producer Joshua Logan is 79. In today's People Postscript, actor Paul Newman got a big boost in his campaign to open a camp for kids with life-threatening diseases. It came in the form of a $5 million check from Saudi Arabia. A Saudi businessman with an incurable blood disease heard about the camp and urged the country's King Fahad to make the donation. And the late Bob Fosse has left the bulk of his estate to ex-wife Gwen Verdon and their daughter. But nearly 70 of Fosse's friends, including Dustin Hoffman, Ben Vereen, Neil Simon, and Jessica Lange, will also receive a little something. Fosse's will stipulates they receive $378.79 each to go out and have dinner as thanks for having been kind to Fosse sometime during his life. In today's Hollywood memory, Frank's play star Tim Reed recalls an encounter with a master showman. He says he thought the old-timer didn't have the stuff anymore. Was he ever wrong? I had the pleasure of doing a television talk show with uh, the late Jack Benny, I think a year before he passed away. And I will never forget it because it taught me a lesson about professionalism. When he came into the, the, the area where we were ready to do makeup to go on the show, he sort of was uh, brought in because he was very frail and two people had him by the arm and I was saying, oh, look at that, it's such a sweet man, oh, and I was feeling so sad because he could barely move and they sat him down in the makeup chair and he sat there and he was all slumped over and I was going, oh, saying, well, we got a minute or so before the show, we'll just kind of not throw too much his way because I don't want to embarrass this, this legend in any way possible. 
So we sat down on the show. It was a cup show in Chicago. And a couple of doors, Mr. Bennett, he was just kind of sitting down. I was thinking, oh, but I was still thrilled to be in his presence because he was a legend. And I turned my head away from him and looked at Cups, and, and they counted down, 10, 9, 8, action. And Cups said, we're on the so-and-so show. And I, I looked over at Mr. Bennett, and he was erect. And he stole the show. He just shot all of us young comics away. He was telling jokes and, and just laughed, and everybody was cracked. And I was stunned. And when the man said, that's it, he went. And they took him out. And I will never forget that lesson about professionalism. When the lights go on, so do you. <laughs> Great story. True, yeah. Well, so much for today. Our exclusive movie preview tomorrow. We're going to have a first look at one of the hottest scenes from Mikhail Baryshnikov's new movie, Dancers. We leave you now with the group with the number one single in the country, White Snake Sings, Here I Go Again. Take care. Days of Our Lives would like to invite you to a wedding to be filmed in Los Angeles on Thursday, October 15th at 12 noon. For tickets, please send a self-addressed stamped envelope to NBC Tickets, 3000 West Alameda, Burbank, 91523. Limit four tickets per request. Federal regulations set a standard for the safety of your money. So does Coast Savings. Ours is just three times higher. Once a year, this phenomenon of nature signals the start of another. This is it. The fall sale and clearance at Stroud's Linen Warehouse. Now Stroud's low prices drop even lower. Save 50, 60, up to 70%. Save over 50% on oversized bath towels, now $6.99. Super soft regal rugs, now $16.99. Decorator bath accessories, now half price. Stroud's giant fall sale and clearance. A Southern California phenomenon. How long have you had TV Guide in your home? Since the original issue. How many times have you had to call a repairman for the TV Guide? Call the repairman for TV guy? Never. Repair Never. It was, it's always been in excellent shape. I keep trading them in week <laughs> after week. It's got to be good. Buy TV Guide. It's the best thing on television. And it's in a nice covered thing, you know. Yeah. You cover your TV Guide? Yeah, yes. it's very fine fabric. It's, yeah. I mean, it's a beautiful it's fabric. A good TV Guide in anything but a fine fabric? No way. <laughs> Class, repeat after me. <clears throat> Class, repeat after me. <clears throat> Go to McDonald's, buy any new shrimp or other entree salad. Go to McDonald's and buy any new shrimp or other entree salad. Get a hamburger, cheeseburger, filet of fish sandwich, or six-piece McNuggets free. Get a hamburger, cheeseburger, filet of fish sandwich, or six-piece McNuggets free. Really? 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 Buy one of these? Buy one of these? Get one of these free. Get one of these free. Consumer reporter David Horowitz, weekdays on the Channel 4 News.